warning everybody from the edge of the car, literally. Um, we are about to head to Greystones for the day. Um, I thought I'd vlog today. Little man is needing a nap for sure. I have just made myself a coffee that's freezing cold, so I'm gonna run back in and make myself a much warmer one. I am now like uh, four days into my no sugar, no um, sweetener, only natural, and it's going okay. But we're gonna head to Greystones for the day, family day, it's the bank holiday weekend, so I just thought we would, I might vlog a little bit today. Little man is here in the back seat. Say hello, Brenna. Definitely ready for a nap. Um, I think I could do with a nap as well. There's a couple of things like I wanna show you over the next few days. There's not much going on, but I just thought I would pick up and vlog. I also have, hello, what an angle, um, my brand new, very bougie, uh, present from one of my best friends for Christmas Saint Laurent mug coffee mug she knows me so well all black Saint Laurent and a coffee mug like it doesn't get more me than that does it buddy definitely not so yeah we're we're just heading I'm wearing one of my favorite jumpers today it's a cropped um, oatmeal color which is like one of my favorite colors to wear and yeah, I'll show you my whole outfit later on, but as you can tell, I'm a little bit frazzled, a little bit tired, but I'll chat to you in a bit. Of course, I have forgotten my phone, so my very wonderful man has gone back in to get my phone for me. Oh no, I didn't forget my phone. I didn't forget it, it's in my bum. Oh no, he's gonna kill me. He's not gonna kill me. But um, I need to also put on my lipstick. So I'm wearing my... Uh, I assume you have your phone? <laughs> I have my phone, yeah. Okay. It was in my bum. Thanks, baby. Um, I'm gonna wear my favorite lip combination at the moment, which is the Lasting Finish Lip Liner in Cappuccino by um, Rimmel and my Kylie Liquid Lip in Built to Last. So this is like a real 90s combo that I'm going to put on for you now. Um, look at my angles. Oh yeah, I'm going to make a vegan spice bag tonight, which is like one of my favorite things ever to make, ever. So I'm going to show you how I do that. It's, it's delicious. It's lowering calories than ordering one in from the Chinese takeaway. Breathe out cold outside. I'm so cold. Oh, there's a cute now. Seriously.
we just got back in the car we've had a nice uh lovely lunch in the happy pair and then we went for a walk and we just went to the playground but i didn't want to film the playground because it's full of other people's kids so we're going to drive now to paris gardens which is just like about 10 minutes away from here in Enniskerry. It's really lovely and we're going to have coffee there and just have a nice afternoon. Huh? Just talking to the vlog. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Yeah. I'd love to apologize. I thought you were talking to me. No, yeah. of course not. Yeah, Why did you do that? People. What? <laughs> not a million. We've arrived in um, Paris for Navoca and I'm obsessed with this notebook. Lines. I prefer a notebook without lines, but I do think I might buy this for myself. What? Are you laughing at me? You just putting brown hooky. Hi everybody, good evening. Um, we're home now, uh, what is it, 10 past five. Where is the night going? I am making a spice bag for dinner, which is what I make kind of nearly every Saturday night. Um, it is bank holiday Sunday, so it kind of feels like a Saturday night. And this is, used to be one of my favorite takeaways. Um, I kind of do a fake away version of it. So I thought I'd show you like quickly, kind of like a rough idea of what I have in it. But the, if you're not familiar with a spice bag, which I'm sure most people outside of Ireland, if not Dublin, aren't. I think it's outside of Dublin as well. But basically, a spice bag is literally a bag with um, deep fried crispy chicken, like thin strips, um, chips or fries, uh, Chinese five spice, some kind of chili, salt, and loads of garlic. Basically, not eating chicken. I uh, don't eat, I use tofu instead. And you can get it with tofu in some places, but making it by yourself at home means you know exactly what's going into it. There's no MSG, there's no, no nasties going into it. Um, and I make everything from scratch, except obviously the tofu, um, including the fries or the chips. So what I'm doing now is just getting all my veg prepped together i am quite hungry the, for some reason the lunch didn't really fill me up as much as it normally would i don't know why i just felt i was still a little bit hungry afterwards not hungry but like peckish which can happen um we ended up having a soup afterwards and we shared the soup it was a very nice if albeit not a little bit peppery uh leek and potato soup which is my favorite soup funnily enough mushroom cream of mushroom, leek and potato are my favorite soups, but um, I hate leeks, random fact. Uh, but this was a little bit peppery, like overly peppery. Like I, I love pepper, but it was just like a bit too much pepper. And, but it was still, it was very nice. And it did the, the trick. It was nice to have something else, you know, that was a bit more substantial that I could feel. And of course I shared mine with Brannock as well and he will eat quite a lot sometimes that little man so i was still feeling a bit hungry and there was some bread with it as well so the three of us shared the bread as well which was nice so now i am making the spice bag at home i'm feeling quite hungry so i'm making a decent sized one and i'm bulking it up as i would with most meals that i want to bulk up i'm bulking up with veg which is my like number one trick so i thought what i would do is show you what's the general gist of what goes into a spice bag what what we're dealing with how i make it at home and how you could make it at home probably um there's tons of recipes online for spice bags but like just if you wanted to cut up my fries and uh, my potatoes i just used white irish potatoes and um, peel them cut them into fry shapes and i blanched them in hot in boiling salted water for about five minutes five-ish minutes just until they're starting to powder on the outside and that's what's going to make the best chips and then i'm going to I'm sorry we call fries chips here i'm going to use this rapeseed oil spray this is 100 percent just rapeseed oil like the smoke point is 240 so it's ideal for frying and cooking so i'm going to use this now on everything i also use so that's like more of 
I use one of these ones, which is the two calorie rapeseed oil spray, and it's literally just rapeseed oil, but it's just in the spray. I try and steer clear of the ones with like gums and stuff in them, like the one calorie ones. I just feel like there's just so much filler in them. Um, so these are two calories. This one is per one second is 15 calories, if you're interested. But I've just launched my potatoes. Hopefully you won't steam up too much. But you can see, oh, as they're ridiculously hot, oh, that it's a little bit powdery. Can you see that at all? Sorry, me and my angles and my, can you see there's like a little bit of a powder on top of them? A trick my dad taught me. Take the pan that you boil them in and put the potatoes back in again. Take a clean tea towel and pop it on top and that will help to absorb the moisture. Um, and that's because we don't want moisture in our fries, otherwise they won't be crispy. So I have a block of tofu that I chopped. I'm sorry, I don't have my tripod down here to show you the, basically I have tofu that I have chopped into pieces this size. And what I'm gonna do now is show you how I so precisely measure what goes into this. Taking two spoons, First thing we're going in is the less salt Kikaman soy sauce. This one is my favorite soy sauce. I like tamari as well, um, but I like that this is less salt because this is quite a salty dish. And we're gonna stir this until it is, like all the pieces are coated in soy sauce. So as you can see, there is a small amount of the soy sauce left, but these are all coated. That's what we want. Now, next thing I'm going in with is the Chinese five spice. Again, very precise measurements. If I had to hazard a guess, oops, that, would, oh Jesus, that would be too much. So let me mix this in there. Yeah, that kind of works. Okay. You can't see my head, but we don't care. Okay, so mixy mix. Next. Granulated garlic. This one is from Aldi, I think. No, little. And just a ton of this. And the reason I use this instead of fresh garlic is that it doesn't burn as easily. And I put fresh garlic into the next part. And the reason that I don't, because you don't want it to burn, because this is going on at a pretty high heat. And then a little bit of salt. And then for our batter, because it's crispy, we're putting in a little bit of um, corn starch or corn flour, depending on what country you're in. I'm actually going to add a little bit more of the soy because I put too much of the. Um, what to call it in? The Chinese Five Spice, which I need to get some. Oh my god, this looks so good. It smells so good. Chinese Five Spice smells incredible. Next, um, for the final bits, I'm only using a tiny bit of cornstarch. But what will make it really crispy and less calories, high B12 and um, fiber is yeast, nutritional yeast. So you want a little bit of nutritional yeast to coat your um, your tofu. There you go, all nicely favored. So I'm gonna spray a couple of bits of oil onto this. That's going into the air fryer. I'm going to spray the uh, chips with a little bit of oil, with a bit of salt into the air fryer. And then I've cut up three white onions, small ones, like medium small ones, two and a half red peppers, and that's basically it. And then you mix it all together and it's delicious. Okay, so dinner is cooking and I really like to take my makeup off while dinner is cooking or before so I can relax and let my skincare do its thing but also just so I can relax. If anyone else is like me, taking my makeup off can be a faff. It's not that much of a faff, it's just, it's not my favorite task to do. It's not my favorite task to do when I'm exhausted at nine o'clock. I don't mind doing it, you know, when you're relaxed and you're calm, but I need to make sure the food doesn't burn. So what I'm doing is I'm just heating up a flannel 
and I wash my hands so I have no chili on them. Everything is falling down. You can see my clothes are there ready for the morning um, if you saw last week's vlog. I'm going to use my Decleo Hule Micellar, Micellar Cleansing Water um, to Cleansing Oil, excuse me, to take my first cleanse. And this will take all my makeup off. So my mom gave me this for Christmas. Typically I would use the uh, what's called the body shop cleansing oil the chamomile cleansing oil i have used that my whole like i would say as long as i can remember to be honest with you i've used that probably 10 years and um, it's about 17 euro for a bottle of it it lasts me about two months and i just love it i always buy it on black friday because they typically have 20 percent off or something around that so i'll stock up um and it'll last me i'll probably have to buy one more during the year probably buy three or four uh, this one though, as a present, is very nice. Decleor is a lovely brand, a very nice brand. Um, so I have just taken the majority of my makeup off there. I'm gonna use my cleansing oil, oh. I flannel, and gently remove everything off my eyes, my brows. And hopefully I'm gonna show you bits of makeup tomorrow. Um, I have a couple of new bits that I'd love to show you and share with you. Hope that's interesting to you guys. This is a real like, these vlogs, I haven't put one up yet, so I don't know what the feedback is gonna be like, but I hope you guys enjoy them. Um, I'll hopefully do one every second week, if not one every week. Um, next, I need to buy reusable cotton pads. I keep forgetting, but I will use my micellar water, the Garnier one, you can buy this pretty much anywhere. Used to use the Bioderma one before that one came out. This is much better in my opinion. It's a lot less drying. So I'm just gonna use that as a second cleanse to make sure everything is off. See, there's still stuff left. Always double cleanse. Typically, I probably should be double cleansing. Like I would use this, the Honest um, Gentle Cleanse is lovely, or the Oscar Renaissance Cleansing Gel, chef's kiss. Uh, for my second cleanse, I don't use that on my eyes, but uh, we're time for here. One of my favorite products of all time, the Ule Henriksen Glow o, Glow 2 OH Dark Spot Toner. This helps to sort my skin out after we've ow, had a bit of a spot issue, um, which thankfully has seemed to resolve itself. I um, don't know what was going on there. Next, I'm going to put some kind of acid on my face, I know, uh, to kind of basically get a glow. So this is the Alpha H Generation Glow Daily Resurfacing Essence with AHAs in it. I think this is AHAs in it as well. This one has high potency AHAs. I probably don't need to use both, but I like this one as like an extra just like a hit, a whack. So I'm gonna pop some of that on my face. And I'm just patting this in. We're not rubbing it in. We're not doing this because that's you're only doing your hands then. Um, we're just patting that in. And then what will I use tonight? Let that dry a little bit. Oh, I know what I'm going to use tonight. I'm going to use my Trilogy. Where do I this going? Trilogy Rejuvenating Overnight Mask. Will you focus, sort of. This is Glycoblend L22 and vitamin H. No idea what any of those words mean. Well, I know what vitamin C is, but I'm just gonna pop this on my face and work it in. And this is like when you sleep in overnight. Lovely. It's very luxurious. It smells delicious. I heard something crash in the wall up downstairs. And now there's crying. Oh. I think as a mom, the words, since I've become a mom, the words I have used more now than ever in my life are, don't eat that, what have you got in your mouth? And what happened? <laughs> so, anyone else feel me on this? Right, that was five minutes, 53. And, oh, no, one more product, eye cream, because, uh, I'm using the Alave Sensitive Care Eye Rescue Serum. This stuff is like, this is 
great especially for me who walks early in the morning i think i discussed this in my last um video with you yes when i was going out early so that is done this thing is like the best ever hair doesn't get in it right so let's go hopefully nothing's burnt guys look at those freaking fries look how delicious they're looking obviously you need to mix them a bit get the other layers but look how crispy they are oh so delicious okay guys wow makeup is off as you can tell at least i'm not one of those people who like won't show you my naked face this is my naked face it tends to be a little bit red when i take my makeup off it'll calm down so what i have going on here are my veg we're nearly ready to go with our our spice bag for tonight this takes it's a little bit of extra work i'm not gonna lie it's about it's been an hour to make this but for me it's worth it for you it might not be and this is the bad boy that we use you can get <coughs> oh that spicy chin Woo. holy moly holy hell um so it's the chan chan spice bag mix i get this one in little you can get it in the asia market if this is an irish brand that you made in ireland it's excellent so what is in um what's the mix so it's salt star anise fennel cardamom chinese cassia Szechuan pepper and ginger <coughs> if you want to make it at home by yourself you probably could kind of like <coughs> oh my god i have to turn the fan on sorry guys the onions the garlic onions peppers and then i added garlic in tons of garlic and then i'm gonna add a bit of this seasoning just a small amount into that i also have the culprits that make them hot here so yes they are spicy if i was wondering uh the reason i have them in a separate <coughs> pan is this is our chili pan i'm the only one in the house that eats chilies and um, so that's why it's separate otherwise i would put it in with this but um so we're nearly ready <coughs> this little cooking with carla tip if your pan see here it's like a little sticky add a tiny bit of hot water and basically it kind of releases all the deliciousness from the bottom of the pan and you can cook things a bit more it's basically frying in water um, and it releases all that delicious flavor but doesn't make your you let it evaporate then so that your veg aren't sticky and wet and gross it's kind of released everything there so there's nothing stuck to the pan anymore that's very nice and then for a drink for tonight, I'm gonna have this Synergy um, Kombucha, the cola one, the traditional cola, unpasteurized, no sugar. Um, I am, what's the calories in this? 16 per 100 ml. And there's how many? 300, 200, yeah, so it's like 30 calories in that. I am trying to up my fermented food game. I'll leave a link up if you wanna see my video about like changing up the way I eat. A little bit i'm not changing it that much to be honest with you and um, i'll talk more about that i am but i'm not uh, small changes make big differences is what i'm saying um so i would normally drink like a uh, pepsi max cherry but i'm just taking a month to not do that and see how that works on my system no difference the answer to that. so far anyway okay i think we are done here let's plate up and let's eat some food Okay guys, there is the finished dish. So we have our ridiculously crispy fries, um, five spice tofu, our mixed veg, and I have chilies for Vincent, one for Brannock. I'm gonna enjoy this, sit down, watch a movie, or relax. I hope you guys have a nice evening and I'll probably talk to you tomorrow. I'm gonna try out a couple of new beauty and makeup products that have been sent to me or that I purchased recently. The first off is the Dr. Janice Gross Dark Spot Sun Defense Sun Cream Broad Spectrum SPF 50. Use a sun cream every single day so that's this one here i'll leave everything linked down below next up for a base i'm going to use the sosu radiance base skin enhancer and cosmic sheen it's a lot thicker than i thought it would be a little bit dark for my skin tone Next up for new products, I'm gonna try the Catrice Nude Drop Tinted Serum Foundation in shade N10. Uh, and to apply it, I'm gonna use a brand new F22 brush from Blank Canvas Cosmetics. This 
there is nothing like new clean fresh bushes i can tell that that um, radiance base is a little bit too light uh, too dark for my skin tone okay. i'm not so sure about this <laughs> on camera like it looks pretty nice but i'm not so sure about it uh, it looks okay the color is actually pretty good but we shall see i'm gonna do the rest of my normal makeup and then i'll come back and share with you the next few new bits. I'm not gonna do like a full face, just like a couple of new bits that I wanted to share with you. Just this Hilden um, Silk to Set Kajel Liner in Chocolate. This stuff is amazing, it's Irish. Uh, it is fe female led. Is that somebody calling me? You okay? Yeah. Did you call me? No. Oh, okay. Uh, female founded business and it is, these liners are beautiful i'll leave them i'll leave everything in the description box but what i'm just going to do is i'm going to like basically line out a um i'm just going to use this we're going to play that's what i'm basically going to do i'm going to play with it and see what happens i'm going to take the hilden beauty uh this is their smoke it wing it their brush it's an amazing brush and i'm going to smoke this I'm actually going to take this Blank Canvas Cosmetics uh, E55 brush. I'm just going to work that out a bit more. She's just going to take uh, a brown and just work that in with it. Eyeshadow, I'm going to use the new Hilden Gilded Gold Beautiful Shadow. I'm going to apply it. I've just put a little bit of um, eyeshadow primer on my eyes to make it set. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. Stunning. Next up, I'm just going to use my typical eyeliner and see how we get on. I'm going to use a new mascara today, the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes by Charlotte Tilbury. I have never used this before. I have used one Charlotte Tilbury um, mascara before, but I've never used this one. Base is good. Okay, great. I'll put all the everything in the description box down below. everybody it is Wednesday today and I am in a car wash as you can see I have the um, NCT MOT thing today it's a revised one and I have come to get the car wash before I go and do some work locally and then I'm going straight there I am vlogging sorry those very good angles um, I am vlogging today I'm not really sure how interesting it's gonna be like this is kind of my life like it's not really that 
like it's rarely that I'm doing anything very exciting but I think that you guys seem to enjoy that just like general day-to-day -day chit chat and whatever I am uh, vlogging on my phone this morning so apologies about the quality it is uh, because my um, laptop is so full my laptop my SD cards are completely full so I need to buy some new ones um, and I'm going basically now to a Starbucks to edit for the morning until I have my um, until I have the NCT this morning I am wearing if you can see that makeup that I the Catrice foundation and I am loving it like like between that and the um, the radiance thing from uh, Sosu, I'll leave them as I said down in the uh, in the description box. I'm really impressed. Like the foundation was eleven euro, I think, and the uh, base was like was fourteen, so it was a bit more expensive. But like my skin looks, we look good. We look good today. So I'm very excited for coffee. Here comes the big white the yolks. So. Anyway, I'll chat to you all later on. Hopefully, wish me luck that the car gets through. Um, I know you'll be watching this after we do it anyway, but send the positive vibes. Ah, okay, it's loud now, so I'm going off. Good evening, lovely people. So, in good news, our car passed the NCT, uh, which is fantastic. And we are going out tonight on a bit of a date night. What I thought I would do is just show you what I'm wearing. I'm probably not gonna bring my camera with me or my phone, you know, I'm just gonna actually enjoy it. I might show you what we get, but I'm gonna end this week's vlog here. So, you saw me this morning, back. Um, I didn't get to film much when I was just kind of working, sitting there in a coffee shop, it's not very interesting. So, this is my makeup. I am going to just top up my makeup. It's just looking a little bit kind of old now what i would do to do that is i always use some kind of like hydro spray or something like that this is the catrice three percent rose water for sensitive skin just kind of re-moistens my face same with my beauty sponge whatever one i'm using this is just the um real techniques one and i'm just gonna pat my makeup in and then i'm just gonna top it up now shortly and that's pretty much it um and then i'll show you what i'm gonna wear i might just curl my hair quickly because it's kind of dropped out after the full day it's really windy outside the dress i was planning on wearing is really cold so i don't know what um we'll see not not cold it's really light so uh, we shall see it's the dress for my last vlog and uh, the rose dress uh, that I got from Topshop, the beautiful flamenco one. That's the one I'm planning on wearing. It's very Valentine's-esque. Valentine's is next week, but we won't be going out for Valentine's next weekend, next week, so, um, I don't know. I have a feeling I'm gonna seriously regret balancing you currently on um, a evaporate, like a diffuser, an Alexa, two books and a conditioner instead of just going and getting a tripod like a normal person, but I cannot be arsed. Um, I'm just finishing off my makeup um, for tonight and I just actually wanted a, like a much more subtle wing at the moment and then of course they go and do like the biggest wing ever now. But something happened today, two things happened today that have never happened to me, well not never happened to me before. One definitely has never happened before. One is like a bit more commonplace, unfortunately. One was kind of negative. Um, it was, we were going, I was going into the NCT by myself. And a man, the way he looked at me made me feel like I was a pure sex object to him. And that's never really happened to me before or not in a very, very long time. And I cannot tell you how uncomfortable it made me feel. Now, I know that this is a very commonplace and the discussion about boundaries and sexual assault, um, you know, and this is not, there was nothing extreme, but it was just, it was unwarranted behavior. And the way he looked at me, and then he, he kind of stopped in the doorway of the, like where I was going. And I stopped because I would have like hit into him as well. And he was like, please, and let me go. And it was as if I felt like I had 
like his and I know this is a lot to read into from like a 10 second interaction with somebody but I did feel like he was almost saying to me now that I have let you go in front of me um, I've shown you that I'm a gentleman but you also owe me and it made me really uncomfortable and I went and sat like in because you've like this big kind of waiting room and I went and sat very purposely where it would have been weird if he sat beside me um, and thankfully he didn't and he just got on the phone and just ignored me but my safety was definitely I felt jeopardized and it's the first time it's happened in I would say a very very long time but it's the first time it's happened since I have lost weight and I think there's also with losing weight like yes there's the physical changes and everything that have happened but there's also a vulnerability because I don't have my safety blanket anymore of 13 stone wrapped around me to buffer myself between the world and to hide in and to have my barrier and I felt very naked today for the first time uh now I'm wearing a mini skirt and I'm but I think I look fab have I haven't to show you my outfit sorry total sidebar have I shown you my outfit today I'm in my my skirt and I've got my I'll insert footage here of what I was wearing but yeah it just made me feel really naked and I am wearing a mini skirt but that doesn't mean that I can't wear a mini skirt and walk down the street or go into an industrial estate and not be objectified uh, and feel uneasy I just thought that was just something I thought I'd share with you. I don't have any, I'm not saying anything. I'm not asking for any solutions. I'm just sharing it with you. The other thing, um, when I was getting my lunch today, a lady behind uh, the cashier, she said to me that she loved my skirt. And I was like, oh, thanks very much. I got it in pennies recently. It was in the, the sale. And she said to me something that, she's like, well, it looks fab on you. And she said something then that nobody has ever said to me in my whole life and it was weird to hear it and she said to me sure with your figure you could pull off anything and I was like I didn't take offense to it it's not an offensive thing it was more of a like a holy hell I have never heard that before and I know that that's like a I don't know if it's an Irish thing you I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments down below if some like you have in other countries but like there is a very much so a saying like you know like I with your figure you can pull it off or you could wear you could wear a paper bag or a bin bag and, and I was like wow and I actually felt like I had to defend my former self which not in defend but like I had to express to her like I actually said to her thank you very much because I accepted the compliment and I said I wasn't always able to and she said well fair play to you now I don't know if she knows me or who I am and um, where I was is very close to where I am like a lot and I know a lot of you guys I'm not sure so much on YouTube but I definitely on Instagram a lot of you know who I am in that general area like in North Dublin you know like I would like I get people coming up to me in that specific supermarket a lot anyway so it's you know like she might have known who I was and just kind of making polite conversation and if, if you're watching this hi hello um but it was weird, like I almost had to defend my former self and say like, oh, well, like I wasn't always like this. Like I am, I felt like saying like, please don't pedestalize me because I have a journey, you know, and it was weird. It's a weird, anyway, crapped on for six minutes about that. But I just thought I'd share that with you guys because it's just a different, it's totally different, something I've never experienced before either. The first one I have experienced in some ways, but like, it's just a strange situation yeah and actually thinking back on the first one now I think I used to value myself so little that any attention even unwarranted or uncomfortable attention made me feel better about myself or was a bit of a pick-me-up or something you know like a little a little bit of a like a boost you know a tiny bit like obviously when it's got negative connotations you know like it wouldn't be I wouldn't be like oh my god some you know but it would be like oh that's you know that's nice like at least even like now somebody is like looking at me like that whereas the now I value myself so much that I know my value is so much more than my looks that to to reduce me down to my looks 
and objectify me because of the way I look really annoyed me and made me very uncomfortable. And that's a, such a dichotomy shift between before weight loss and now. And when I say weight loss, any time, I really mean like my full journey, my mental health journey and my value of myself, my personal development, my self-development uh, and my evolution uh, and my growing up. You know, it's not really just weight loss. Can you tell I'm a former smoker? I just realised I'm like... Anyway, I now have like, what, how long do I have till I have to go? 10 minutes till we have to go, so I'll, I'll chat to you all later. You'll have to excuse the horrendous lighting, but I've gone with the star see-through top from ASOS that I got last week. My very old Stradivarius belt and my trousers, my peg trousers from ASOS and my new look boots. Kind of like a, I don't know, I liked it. And I just kind of put like a little wave through my hair because um, it's flat from the day. But it's really windy outside, so I'd say it's gonna get wrecked. But that's it, guys. I'm gonna end this vlog here because I think this might be a really long one. And also, I just wanna do something at the end of my vlogs. Um, I wanna name three things that I'm grateful for. Today, I am incredibly grateful for my wonderful man who I'm going out on a date with. I'm incredibly grateful for you guys and how supportive and amazing you are to me always in the comments. And I'm super grateful to myself for working on myself so I can do the things that I want to do in life. So there are my three things. If you have three things, please let me know what they are down in the comments. And if you don't want to share what they are, just leave me three hearts. That's it. I'll love you and leave you guys and I will talk to you all next week. Good